Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another video and man, I am really excited about this video. I'm excited to show you guys this stock, this merger, what we got going on, possibly a new Tesla in the making. Uh, but hey, time will tell. So listen, yeah, so if you don't know what's going on, VTIQ, which is a already publicly traded company, is being merged. Well, they're merging with a non-traded company called Nikola Motors, all right? And once the merger is done, they will become a, um, a entity in itself, which is Nikola Motors, and the ticker symbol will be NKLA. And the merger vote is June 2nd of this year. So that's right around the corner and like people are already excited about what's going on, especially, I guess, seeing the products that they plan on making and, and the, the the business model that they have and everything that's going on so far. But look, but look guys, real quick, if you don't know, I am a part of a investment group called Investing With Homies and we have our own Discord chat. I'm a mentor in it. If you wanna join this Discord chat, absolutely free, go to the pinned comment, which is my pinned comment on top, Click the link and join the Discord chat absolutely free. Um, like I said, I am a mentor in it. You know, you could talk to me personally. There is three other mentors in it as we speak, and this is growing daily. And I don't think we're going to keep it um, available to the public forever because it is growing pretty, pretty fast. So yeah, if you want to sign up for it, if you want to get in there absolutely free, just click the pin comment on top. Go to start here when you're in it, introduce yourself, and you'll become a tier one homie with all kind of benefits and all kind of good stuff that's going to be, uh, I guess, happening in the near future. Anyway, yeah, so do that if you want. Let's get back to the video. So May 6th, VTIQ was trading at $13.26, and then it shot up to $32.75 on May 13th. Now it is trading around $23. So I'm sure the reason it shot up was because of you know, everything, all the information coming out about the merger and everything, all of that. Now, let's see what VTIQ is. Vecto IQ Acquisition Corp does not have significant operations. The company intends to merge capital stock exchange, asset acquisition, stock purchase, reorganization, or similar business combination with one or more businesses. It focuses on industrial technology, transportation, smart mobility industries. The company was founded in 2018 and is based in wherever, New York. So yeah, that what is, that's what VTIQ is. I think it's kind of like a placeholder um, for Nikola Motors, just to get introduced into the area of you know public trading. Nikola Corporation, a, a leader in the design and development of BEV and FCEV class eight semi trucks, along with Vecto IQ Acquisition Corp, a publicly traded special purpose acquisition company announced that the two companies have entered into a definitive agreement to create a company focused on the development of next generation and smart transportation. Upon the closing of the transaction, the combined company will be named Nikola Corporation and it is expected to remain on the NASDAQ listed under the new ticker symbol NKLA. So yeah, guys, and if you don't know what BEV and FCEV vehicles is, basically BEV is um, electric vehicles and FCEV is the hydrogen based vehicles. So Nikola Motors is basically going to be electric and hydrogen based. They, they will have electric based vehicles and hydrogen based vehicles and it's kind of a combination of the two as well. So they'll have like three different areas. Um, in the company so once the merger is done and once they're finished gaining you know money from this merger and from raising funds uh nicola plans to um, use some of the proceeds from the merger and fundraising to accelerate its portfolio of the, the electric and the hydrogen fuel cell vehicles so they just want to ramp everything up when it comes to facilities when it comes to producing them when it comes to all of this um they plan to build out the hydrogen infrastructure, kind of like Tesla's doing. You know, how Tesla is kind of making what you would call gas stations for Tesla, um, basically making their infrastructure. Uh, you have Tesla and then you have the Tesla charging stations. 
that's what they're kind Nikola Motors is trying is kind of basically doing the same thing they're building the vehicles and then they're building the infrastructure so they'll have kind of both areas sewed up you know what I mean and they do plan on doing these big trucks right the big 18 wheeler style trucks uh, semi trucks which is awesome because they're not just doing you know personal vehicles which they do plan on doing pickup trucks and they do plan on doing jet skis and like four wheelers and side by sides and all that which i think is is awesome like that's really exciting that's cool to have a hydrogen or electric based you know jet ski or truck or whatever the case may be but the only problem is as of right now there's no revenue they have no revenue coming in but they are expected by mid 2021 to start having revenue rolling in uh with its electric truck okay with this electric vehicle, non, not the hydrogen-based vehicles. They're still working on the hydrogen-based vehicles right now. So before the 2021 and beyond, um, more than 14,000 orders representing more than $10 billion in potential revenue and two and a half years of production have already been ordered. So that's their pre-orders, 14,000 in pre-orders and two and a half years of production in potential, you know, revenue. If everything falls through, it, not, not if it falls through, but if it, if it goes the way it's supposed to go um, as planned anyway. <clears throat> so and that's basically just for the electric truck for the beginning of the stages for Nikola Motors sales for the hydrogen truck starting in 2023 with customers such as Anheuser-Busch and I am looking down because I have some stuff written down right here that I'm reading. So in 2023 is when they plan to um, roll out the hydrogen truck for customers such as Anheuser-Busch. So they're just working on electric vehicles now because that model's already kind of around. You know, we have Tesla and Ford and other people doing their uh, electric vehicles. Um, I'm kind of getting the idea that uh, <laughs> Nikola Motors got their uh, business model from Tesla. Uh, that would be cool if they kind of bought them out or did a thing where it would be Nikola Tesla, right? A Nikola Tesla vehicle or whatever the case may be. So <clears throat> even though we have no revenue for Nikola Motors, this VTIQ jumped up because people are so excited about this could be the potentially next Tesla, right? The next Tesla in the making. But one thing about Tesla is or not just Tesla, but vehicle companies like it's they're <laughs> they're not doing too great right now. I mean, Tesla obviously is, but that's like a one in a million, one in a lifetime company. Um, maybe it's because of the electric vehicles, probably just because Elon Musk. But hey, we'll see. Um, but they're really hard to, to keep going and they're really hard to make. And like innovation is really needed in this area. And possibly this could be the company to do it for. Um, not only electric vehicles, but you know, the industry as a whole and to present hydrogen fuel cell, you know, the water fuel cell basically into the world, which would be amazing, right? <laughs> I mean, hydrogen fuel cell, people have been talking about this for years. So obviously, <laughs> obviously Nikola Motors has a plan to roll out. Like they said, 2021, they plan to have revenue coming in. By 2023, they plan to have, um, these semi trucks, which they have about six models so far. I think four, four are models for semi trucks or three are models for semi trucks. One's an actual um, personal vehicle, like a, a utility truck. One is a four wheeler style and one's a jet ski. Um, these are basically all concepts. They don't have any type of revenue coming in right now. So there's, there's nothing coming in. These are basically just all concepts. If you go to the, if you go to the website for it, the, all the pictures you see are just concepts as of right now. So the founder and CEO, Trevor Milton, is pretty much a no-name guy. He hasn't really done much before, but one of the more important things that I see about him and what's going on is he, he's getting a lot of backing behind him. He's getting a lot of good financial backing, such, such as from CNH is a really big company. They have um, a lot of employees, and I think they, they hold like a 7.7% .7 stake in Nikola Motors. And I think this is a perfect speculative play. Um, definitely, definitely. Um, me personally, before I would get into this stock, I would have to wait until after June 2nd, after the merger goes through, and whenever we start seeing some production and everything going on. Because guys, remember, they still have to build these facilities, not just um, infrastructure. They have to build these facilities to 
build, you know, these, these warehouses and manufacturing places to get all of this rolling and going. <laughs> then they gotta get the, the sales rolling. Then they gotta get the infrastructure rolling. You know, the only thing I think they have good right now is the patents for what they have um, going on. And that may be all they have, but I mean, even though that they, they do have a lot going against them, this is still a massive opportunity for an investor in this company alone, right? This could be a game changer for the automotive industry and cars and, and just the environment in all, right? The hydrogen fuel. So if these, guys, if these guys can pull this off, they may be bigger than Tesla. Um, and that's what I'm real excited about. So in order for me to put money into this company, I need to see uh, exactly what their plan is after the merger. I need to read more into the vehicle. I need to see if they have all their stuff patented, which I'm sure they do. I hadn't looked into that yet, but we will see. Guys, so, um, so guys, let me know what you guys think about Nikola. Um, in the comments below, do you guys think that the merger is gonna go through? Or are you very bullish on this stock? I am pretty bullish. I kinda do want this stock to do uh, very well. And I wanna see exactly what they're gonna bring to the table. So if we get a lot of traction on this video, a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a lot of views, I will do a part two, possibly before or after um, the merger happens, going in depth more into the numbers and, and just do a lot more research on this company. Uh, just let me know in the comments below if that's what you guys want. <laughs> By the way, don't forget, if you wanna join investing the Investing with Homies Discord chat, go ahead and click the link in the pinned comment to become a part of the Investing with Homies Discord chat. It's absolutely free. All right, guys. All right, guys, look, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. All right, guys, look, I'm gonna get out of here. You'll have a great day.